Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Usually, nine times out of ten, it's fine. It's just occasionally they can fuck you up. Oh. Oh, hang on. It's fine. I thought I needed something. Um, I'll get mixed up with somewhere else. Uh, but yeah, it's just now and again, they'll put the, the front legs up, get you, and then you need a blue herb. Um, one of them's fine, because obviously it contains a blue herb, but I, either that or you need blue herb. I don't know. I don't think a first aid spray cuts it. I don't think so. Um, what we'll do, we can't progress um, for the boss, because we need another plug. You need four plugs, uh, like I said. We've got three of the four. So what we'll do... There we go, look, that's like a safety blue herb, basically, in case one of the uh, spiders effed us up. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to deposit the plug so then when it's time to face the boss, we don't have to take all all of them with us. Uh, these first three will be deposited right now, because, obviously, when you're about to um, face off against a boss, obviously, you want to freaking equip all your inventory as much as possible. So, yeah, we'll save things like this for it. Pop this in, pop this in. Uh, I might take that with us. Um, I just picked that up just cause. Um, so yeah, I'll pop that in there. Take all these three. Don't need that till later on. That's what I was getting a bit mixed up at when I heard the water. I was like, nah, we actually don't need it. So yeah, we're, we're not at risk of any boss coming up. We've got a little cutscene here as well, actually. I think. No, not yet. Soon. It's when we come out of here, actually, I think. So you come in here, discover that we can't progress any further. You've got no choice but to come back out. We've got to sit, I believe. So yeah, this is where the boss is. It is nothing too massive. This is where we deposit the plugs. So yeah, like, the, the Resi games, they're all about inventory management, so... Um, like you say, just clear that inventory space as and when you can, as much as possible. There we are. There she is. Ada? I don't think I've introduced myself yet. My name's Leon. I'm with the RPD. It's a dead end. You think we can get upstairs through this shaft? Give me a boost. I'll go and check. Now she bothers us again, then she's just gonna fuck off. Like she does. Is this where we think we play as an app? Oh yeah, bit of Ada gameplay. Uh, I don't think she really has anything decent on her, to be fair. So that is a picture. Sorry, I'm hiding it in this corner. Oh, you don't need to use it. I just want to kind of check it so we can see what it is. So yeah, this is Ada, and I don't know if it actually is that John or if she was, um, because I'm, I'm sure she was lying. I don't know if there even is any John, um, because she said she wants, um. She wants to find a boyfriend, John, and like I don't know if he's uh, in the lamps or something, I can't remember. But as far as I know, I don't think there is any John, though. So this might be a, a, a other part or something. Uh, but yeah, anyway. A handgun ain't as good as Leon's, anyway. Put it that way. Gives a few bullets, Ada. We're desperate. <laughs> can hell. Um, I don't usually... I might do... Oh, fucking hell. Nah. We won't now. Fuck. Yeah, we will. Yeah, we will. With round mop. Fuck this. I'm not putting up with it. Fucking, they're so scary. You know how menacing they come at you? Yeah, usually, honestly, I, I don't usually get the dogs. It's only sometimes. I just can't be bothered. I hate them. I hate zombie dogs. Don't have them. You know, until recently, and they're just coming up at us out there. Like, boom. Dog after dog after dog after dog. Um, yeah, so we'll get all them done and then, then we don't have to worry about them. I just can't be bothered with it. Uh, so yeah, there's, there's two different areas you can go as Ada. So we'll nip to these. 
she has a few pickups for us um, and a very crucial story item. So yeah, it's absolutely necessary to play as Ada. Beautiful. Absolutely won't pass up on those. Um, I think that, that's literally it. So that's that for that area. And then, yeah, she just gets us something else which we need, which is very useful. What we all think of Ada's booty, anyway. We all approve. We all approve here on Holster TV's mediocre channel. Cheers to you all, if you're still here. We'll take the map just cuts. So yeah, nice and easy puzzle this. We won't activate any switches just yet. Sherry is annoying as hell in these pit in these uh, this bit of the game. Um, Sherry's like the little girl uh, who you play as temporarily. She's a pain in the ass getting up and down these steps and then on on top of the uh, boxes and everything. She takes ages. She's proper makes it look so laboured, so damn annoying. So yeah, we basically just arrange all these just so they're in a line so we can get across and then activate some water to push these up and then we can get across to the other side. But yeah, awesome this game. Absolutely adore it, I really do. Um, my dad got me into this game years ago when I was a kid. I was literally, I was about seven or eight years old, genuinely. I was in year three or four in school. Um, so... You're literally about seven or eight years old then, if you're from the UK and whatever. I don't know how all the other schools work or whatever. But yeah, um, he, he brought me up playing these games and um, like he passed away when I was 14. So um, yeah, you know, you know, it, it's really massive nostalgia for me when I play these. Always reminds me of the times that we played it. So yeah, that's why um, Resi 2 especially, um, I think that was his favourite as well. Uh, we played this one more than any other and we absolutely adored it so yeah it's always got um a, a place in my heart and it's my favorite game of all time absolutely love it there we are the club key as you've seen previously we've been refused into a couple of rooms because there's a club etched under the keyhole so now we can go and lock the remaining rooms i think there's only two i think it only locks two doors so yeah Oh, I see so much chill. You know, you know when you've wiped out them zombies. You know, I can't be doing with it. It's just in case, like, just in case we took too many hits. Like, we, we've got first aid spray on us, but it would have been pretty embarrassing if we made an early exit in the game. Then. Leon, can you hear me? Ada, did you find anything? Right here. Think fast. Here's one more. Hey, I can't reach the ventilation hole. I'm going to have to find another way around. I'll catch up with you later. What? Ada, wait! Every time. Ada, wait! Bless him. Paul Haddad, the guy who voiced Leon. I should have really mentioned this in the beginning. Bless him. He passed away uh, last year, actually. It's 2021. I'm uh, recording this. Early February. Uh, yeah, he unfortunately passed away in 2020. What an absolutely fucking god-awful year that was. Um, I've come in here because I'm going to make our first save of the game. Uh, but yeah, he uh, unfortunately... Um, passed away through um i'm sure uh, i mean don't quote me but i know that he did have throat cancer at one point and i don't know if he was still poorly with that or other associated illness so yeah rest in peace to paul haddad um, absolutely incredible voice actor of leon kennedy in this game ever so sad but obviously his legacy and his voice lives on in this game absolutely incredible game this um, now to see if the uh, memory card I've got in even has space on it. There we go. No day. Uh, no empty block. Right. 
Please memory card. Oh, I'll just be overwriting another one. This is Leon B. Yeah, it's, it's no biggie. So I'll make our save in this. Because otherwise it's just awkward, isn't it? <laughs> otherwise it's just awkward and we can't save. Yeah, I, I just can't remember. I've got loads of memory cards and whatever, but uh, I can't remember which one was in it. So yeah, that is our first save of the game. back in there uh we'll take it here with us because it's bloody dicey and it? um can't remember exactly what's in these uh rooms enemy wise i've got more liquors to face off with or anything um yeah a bit of a but anyway um yeah still don't fancy going in that other room that we didn't explore oh god this is really hard, this guy's, because with it being, oh god, it being quite dark on my uh, screen. So unfair. <laughs> like I said, amateur equipment, amateur recording. Um, yeah, I need to invest in better equipment. Um, it'll literally be a lot better uh, when I've got my own place as well. Uh, for those of you who uh don't already know i'm saving for my own place and all that jazz uh for what's been going on in the outside world here um yeah i can't quite progress in um in uh buying yet i've got to do a little bit more saving up and then i've got to uh just wait it's basically till like this rules reversed so then i can be eligible um to basically kind of have my own place ready it's, it's a bit of a weird one but um yeah it's nothing bad or anything it's just literally, um, can't be helped with the times out here. Honestly, guys, the, the freaking, the odds of it. Do you know what I mean? I play these games. Fuck's sake. There's a liquor. I did not realise these come up. We've got to take it out, guys. And what I was saying, this is thriller, thriller, nerd. Fuck off. Oh, right. I think it's getting quite close up. Yeah, basically what I was saying is like, I play these games, then there's freaking zombie apocalypse, and then, what do you know, there's a freaking... There's a virus outside and everything, in real life, and you just can't write it. When you've been playing these all your life, you don't think there's going to be anything, you know, that's absolutely... Uh, yeah, it's just crazy. Um, but yeah, that's what I was saying. Um, the irony of it. Um... <laughs> You know what? Um, I say irony, right? And ah, uh, I didn't capture it at the moment it happened. You know, when you talk to Ben in the cell, he says bitter irony, and that's where I've got irony from. But it, you actually say like irony, don't you? I got corrected a while ago. Yeah, me and mate have a laugh about it. It's funny. Uh, but yeah, I say irony. Anyway, can't cope any longer. Boom. <laughs> Shit. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. I want you in my room Spend the night together from now until forever Oh yeah Boom 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 I want you in my room Oh god I can't see it's camouflaged in these awful dark graphics on my PC screen I think basically um Alright I don't wanna get too close I'll be around shotgun under the heart Can I kill one of these freaking things without taking any damage? Um, I took the green herb from in there, didn't I? I'm not going in that other room yet. There's that other door in the but Um, no, we'll go back here first. We use the club key in the in a room here. Um, no, I'm sure there's zombie dogs around there and I can't be doing with it. So by now, I'm sure it was by around this time. If we hadn't have put that cord in, then zombies would have come through the windows and this corridor would be would have been swamped with zombies. So, GG. Good, good for thinking of that. Thinking ahead, holster. See, I do some things right. Electrician. <laughs> of course. Um, right, there's nothing in here as in zombies-wise. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. I don't know if that sounds anything like Bora. I just say it anyway. It doesn't sound anything like him. Very nice. Oh. 
His throat and abdo have been torn out. I mean, I'm sorry about that, man, but there's a magnum right there. And I'm not just talking about the ice lolly. Watchman's Diary. So this is the guy um, who, unfortunately, has had his um, throat and abdo ripped out. I was reprimanded by the chief for neglecting my duties while I was up on the clock tower. There's only one thing I still don't understand. The chief seemed to be more concerned about the fact that I was up on the tower rather than that I was neglecting my duties. Why was access to the tower prohibited in the first place anyway? I recently talked to the old man who works the scrapyard in the back. His name's Thomas. Quiet man, but it seems... He even went so fast. He's on a special key and lock and grave. Chess pieces on there. For what in the doors in the disposal yard. But he plans to play chess tomorrow night. I can't help but wonder how good he is. Chess is fucking hard. I remember having a chess game on PS2. It's so hard to get the hang of. I can't play it whatsoever. I can only play the bottom version of chess. <laughs> you know, where they use freaking all different things and different pieces. The freaking the Spider-Man figure, the ketchup and all that. It's the Queen's own ketchup. One thing that's been bothering me about him is that he's always scratching himself. Does he have some sort of skin disease or is he just rude? <laughs> Thomas is a much better player than I'd imagined. I used to think of myself as a fairly decent player, but he did a pretty good job of humbling me. About the only thing I imagine that I could match his skills in chess is his appetite. All the guy did was talk about food throughout the entire game. He sounded fairly healthy, but he didn't look quite right. I wonder if he's okay. I suppose to play another game, but he had to cancel because he hadn't been feeling too well. Tom got bitten. I, I hate to say it. He stopped by to see me, but I told him to go back and rest since he was literally looked like the walking dead. He insisted that he was just fine, but I could tell he was really having problems. Come to think of it, I haven't been feeling too good myself lately. <laughs> he knew. He knew it was coming. Well, thanks for leaving your magnum out, though. I, I really appreciate it. If it's the ice lolly. Have any of you guys tried white chocolate magnum? Absolute game changer. I'm telling you. White chocolate. Can't beat it. Okay, so we need to go back to a corridor. Got another thing there? Or did I collect them? Collected them both then by the looks of it. Um, right, I'm thinking the best way. Thinking the best way to get there. I have to pause it and visualise. Just bear with me. <laughs> uh, okay, if I've visualised it correctly. Um, I'm just thinking if there's a herb nearby, but there's a couple out there, but I think I already got them. Yeah, I think this is the right way. I think there's a stray zombie here. Yeah. Just have to be, be a bit cautious. There we go. There's one lying around. Like, th there's more than enough health, really, lying around. Even playing it on normal mode. It's just like you say, it's the freaking bullets that have been scarce for us, guys. This is the right way. I believe this is the room where we get the cog, I think. See, in scenario B, this is a freaking... I'll pick this up because we've... We've got quite a bit of inventory space. Um. Oh, there's another club one. Ooh, I didn't realise. Um, see, this is a mega shit scary room, this one. Because uh, Mr X freaking bursts in this one. There's a freaking film there as well. Another club room. Oh. We used that the autopsy room. Thinking about it, that's where we think it. Um, yeah. So there's a little puzzly bit. Yeah, and then in scenario B, freaking Mr. X burst through there. So when I play play the B side, I'll be shitting myself. Um I'm a lot more calmer on this one because we're not being chased. I hate being chased around. Um, I can't remember roughly uh, which one it is. So there's 11, 12 and 13 here and they represent, I believe it's the Jack, King and Queen, I think. Um, man on a carriage. Something's written on the wheel. 
like the queen, the king, then the jack. So it should be 12, 13, and then 11. So I think the queen's in the middle. Queen, king, then the jack. You can't, you can't beat it. You just can't beat these puzzles. I mean, it's good when you first figure them out and everything, isn't it? You know, it's satisfying. Obviously, I, I do it from memory because obviously I've played this that many times. There we go. We've got the cog. Um, yeah, it's funny that. The faucet. It's American for tap. <laughs> just that chill with you. You probably knew that anyway. Um, I'll pick that up anyway because we'll see what it is. I'll cut to, um, you know, developing the film shortly and I'll show you guys what it is.